So today we're going to work on a very basic bullet. Now this is not a perfect bullet by any means and we're going to have a lot of options and optimizing to do in the future but this kind of sets the groundwork for just a basic bullet uh, and a good starting point for how to actually implement shooting into a game. And we'll work on the bullets and refining what exactly we want from a bullet once we know what the enemies are a little bit more. Uh, that's how I kind of work, is I when I prototype, I want to get all the pieces put together. That way I can see what I actually want from each section. I don't want to just fixate on what the bullets do, because if I change something in what I think my enemies are going to be, it could affect my bullets, and I spend all that time working on my bullets. That kind of goes to waste if it doesn't perfectly align with what I want with my enemies. So I like to get all the the major pieces into place, and kind of rotate around the different ideas, opposed to just doing one perfectly, so to speak, the first time. We're going to need something to shoot, so we just are going to use a basic area 3D with a mesh and a collision shape. Again, I just used a little rectangle. Uh, there's nothing special about this. I gave it a color, and I added a convex uh, collision shape. Now the script on this is fairly simple. We're just going to translate it in the direction that we are. it is looking at the speed times delta. And I wanted it to be pretty fast, so we are going about a thousand. And if it actually runs into anything, so it's an area, if anything, any body enters it, we're just going to queue free. And this is a very basic way to say, like if you hit the ground or if you're gonna hit enemy, it'll have a body and it'll just destroy the bullet. Now obviously we'll be adding more code into this when we add more enemies, but uh, how you do that, for starters, is you go to your signals, and you just click body entered, you connect it, and then in the script you type Q free. Now we don't want the body to Q free in this instance, um, body.Q free, because that would actually destroy our entire map, and it would delete it all. So. Like I said, this is the most bare bones a bullet can get. It has simple movement, and it just dies when it hits something. There definitely will be more code that will go in here eventually, but for now, let's just take a look at where the bullets are shooting from. On the player, since I have kind of a ship that has two sides, I just decided to have two guns, one on each side. I made a container, has a position 3D on the left side, and on the right side. And we also have a gun timer here that will just regulate how many times per second you can shoot because you don't need to be able to shoot a thousand times per minute. Um, I'm actually going to restrict it right now to about uh, four times per second and obviously that's subject to change. Looking in the player script though, we have to add a few lines of code. Starting with a signal, so we're going to send a signal to the main scene. We don't want to add the bullets to the player, because if we move the player, it will affect the bullets after they've been shot. And this ready to shoot is kind of the switch for whether or not the, the ship can shoot, and that'll be affected by the gun timer. So a lot of this code is movement code that's slightly different than what I've had in the my movement tutorials, but we'll go over that in more detail some other time when I actually decide what type of movement I want in the game for sure. Uh, like I said, you can see what I'm doing here, but we're not, not going to go through it right now. So to deal with the bullets, I have this ready function, and I really do not like writing full paths, especially in the prototyping stage when it's subject to change, when where things are going to be put. So instead of that, I actually use groups. And so I went over to the Star Fox. This is the main game. I went to the Node tab and went into Groups. And I just gave it a name. I was going to write Root, but I thought that might be misleading because it's kind of the root of the tree, but it's not technically. But we'll set that group. And then in the player, to connect it, we'll, we'll just loop through all the nodes in the group. So this returns an array, so you have to loop through it, and then we will connect it um, via the connect function, which is a built-in function to connect signals, and 
we will so this connects the player whenever the fire bullet signal is sent which is again at the top here that's all you have to do to set that up we'll connect it to the node which is the game node since it's the only node in the array and this is how I like to write my signals and their functions that they're connected to. Uh, the signal is just what you write, and then you put a little underscore in front of the, the function that it's connected to. That way, it's a little bit clearer once you start getting about 8 or 10 signals into one script, which function it's actually pointing to. And again, there's more input here, but we'll, we'll go over what that really looks like in a future video. And the main one that I want you to look at is the shoot button. So again, I went into the project settings and I set the spacebar to the shoot button. And again, to regulate how fast you can shoot, you have to check to see if you're ready to shoot. And if you shoot, then you turn that to false so you cannot shoot again and the timer starts immediately that way in about a quarter of a second or whatever you set it to you will be able to shoot again and then we have to find the global transform not just the transform since the position 3d of the muzzle will be moving along with the player and it won't change the relative transform so we need the global transform which will also bring along which direction it's rotated. So that way when you shoot, it you're pointing your ship towards the ground, it'll also shoot towards the ground and it'll follow that same path. So we're going to actually just emit the signal twice. Uh, there are different ways to do this. You could also send all the positions that you want to shoot from in an array and send it along. But for now, I'm just going to keep it visually simple of just sending the signal twice, once for the left muzzle and once for the right muzzle. And we will, like I said, set that transform and then set it again for the second time that we send the signal. When you have the timer on the player, uh, most of you probably know this already, but you set the signal, timeout, and then when we, it'll put this function at the bottom and you just have to turn ready to shoot back to true because otherwise it'll never pass this if check and you won't be able to shoot more than once since it started out as true. Now there's only a few lines you actually have to add to the the game node, the Star Fox, which the first two are up here. Uh, I have a basic bullet scene and that's the scene that we worked on before and instead of calling the bullet container over and over again we're just going to put it into a variable so it can find it quicker. The underscore fire bullet and here's our position information or the transform. Each time we fire a bullet, we're going to make a new instance of that bullet that we have a preloaded scene of. We're going to apply that global transform, and then we will add it to the bullet container. And this is what it looks like. Now, one of the problems that you have sometimes with a area is if you're only shooting through one block, if, especially if it's going very quickly, it can sometimes slip through. Um, and obviously that's not what you want. If you can see some some of the bullets get through just because it doesn't recognize that it, the area is overlapping because it honestly just goes so quickly. It doesn't check it in time to notice that it actually went through something. And that's one of the major failings of just using an area like this. And again, we will we'll address that in future videos, but we're going to just leave this as a basic way to have shooting in the game.